Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malignant enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to thee, that with thy angels and thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. God bless Ireland. Beloved, we're going to pray a psalm together, just as we did yesterday. Today, we're going to pray Psalm 145, the praise of God's majesty. I want to ask you, my brothers and sisters, to pray this after me to Jesus. He loves Ireland, and he's right there in the Eucharist, and he's smiling and winking at you right now because he loves you. So we're going to do a psalm of praise. Remember the ancient hymn? The chains that seem to bind you only serve to remind you that they fall helplessly behind you when you praise the Lord. Amen? We were made to praise the Lord. We were not made for misery. So we want to focus on the beauty of Jesus who will save Ireland. St. Patrick is on my left. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there. And St. Bridget is on my right. We're going to pray with them the praise of Jesus Christ, the King of Ireland. Jesus is the King of Ireland. Amen? Amen. Friends, would you say this after me? In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I will give you glory, O God, my King. I will bless your name forever. I will bless you day after day. And praise your name forever. The Lord is great. Highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. Age to age shall proclaim your works, shall declare your mighty deeds, shall speak of your splendor and glory, tell the tale of your wonderful works. Ireland will speak of your terrible deeds. We will recount your greatness and might. Ireland will recall your abundant goodness. Age to age shall ring out your justice. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. We're going to continue now, but chant this, please, in the same way after me. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessings. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. 
Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. Let me speak the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name. Forever, for ages unending. We love you, Jesus. You are beautiful. We give our hearts to you. We give our country to you. Reign over us. Save us by your mercy. Forgive all of our sins and make us holy. We will praise you every day. We will love you beyond all measure. We will be the people of praise. And your joy will fill our hearts. Fill us with your joy today and save our people, Ireland. Alleluia. Alleluia. Ireland loves you. Show your love to Ireland. We praise you forever. You are beautiful. We love you. We praise you. We thank you. We glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Now tell him how much you love him quietly in your heart. Praise him now quietly in your heart and tell him that he is your king forever. Beloved, would you say this holy prayer after me? My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, who do not adore, who do not hope, and who do not love you.
Now, friends, would you say this holy prayer after me? Most Holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. Amen. A second time for all of Ireland. Most Holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. Amen. Now, beloved, would you say this after me? My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. O oh, come, let us adore Him. O oh, come, let us adore Him. O oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. For He alone is worthy, for He alone is worthy, for He alone is worthy. The Christ the Lord, and he will save our nation, and he will save our nation, and he will save our nation, and he will save our nation. Christ the Lord. Alleluia. Now the Lord says to tell his people to give your heart to him right now. Don't wait till tonight or tomorrow because they may never come. Give your heart. We give our hearts to Jesus now. He sticketh closer than a brother. He loves us more than a spouse. He is our everything. Jesus, you are my everything. And now, beloved, if you'd say this little prayer after me, it was recommended by Pope John Paul the Great, but it was written by St. Louis de Montfort. It's only three lines. Would you say this after me? I am all thine, Lord Jesus, and all that I have is thine through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We'll say it a second time in the plural. We are all thine, Lord Jesus, and all that we have is thine through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. With your permission, Jesus. I want to pray with you a special chaplet. You may have heard of it. I'm going to kneel back down in just a moment. 
It's called the Chaplet of St. Michael the Archangel. Have you heard of that chaplet? Have you prayed it before? The Lord says to remind you, I have been blessed um, undeservedly with the grace of seeing the angels daily. And you know that the angels are always smiling. They're always smiling. Unless you're really naughty, then they start crying. But they're always smiling. I've also been blessed with the special gift of seeing the devil and the demons. Can I tell you a secret? Would you tell all of Ireland my secret? The demons are always grouchy. And so we don't dare be grouchy in Ireland because then we look like the devils. Ooh, baby, I just got the anointing. If we are grouchy and complaining, we begin to look like Satan. Isn't that interesting? Is it true? You better believe it's true. And so let Ireland be known as the nation of the smile. The nation of the godly smile. The angels are always smiling, and I'll tell you why. Because they are in love with God. They are in love with God. He is their brother. He is their spouse. He is their best friend. He is their everything. They see how beautiful he is. So I'd like to pray the chapter of St. Michael with you. It's an excellent preparation for Holy Mass, which we'll have in just a little while with the Archbishop. It's an excellent preparation. Did you know that the Eucharist, we love you, Jesus. Did you know that the Eucharist is actually called by the church the bread of angels? Now, that's very interesting, isn't it? Because angels don't have bodies. They can't eat the Eucharist like you and I do. Yet it's called the bread of angels. You know why? Can I tell you? When the angels take one look at the Lord Jesus Christ, their God and our God, when they're coming in now, I see them coming down, the good angels. When they take one look at Jesus in adoration or at Mass, The angels are overcome by love. They swoon. They swoon with love at the slightest glance of Jesus. They are filled to overflowing with one glance. They don't need to receive the Eucharist. They just look at Jesus and go, woof. And they're filled with ecstatic love. These are your brothers, the angels. I'm getting the anointing right now. And they're coming down into the church right now. We want to ask our guardian angel and all the angels to give us their love for Jesus. Their love is spotless, you see. There's no sin on their love. So every day the Lord says to Ireland, encounter my angels. Because I will tell you, the angels are Eucharistic by nature. They are Eucharistic. They love, they're jealous of you and I for anything. They're jealous of the Eucharist, that we have this grace. But they just look at the Lord. We need the same grace. Before you come up to receive Holy Communion, take a look at him and fall in love with him. Try not to receive the Lord without love. Never receive the Lord routinely, never. That's a sin. Never. When you approach the Lord for Holy Communion today, ask the angels and the Virgin, the Queen of Angels, to give you their love. Only receive the Lord with love. Amen? Does that make sense, everyone? Don't insult the Lord. You know how it is sometimes when you meet somebody at a party, you say, Father Jim, this is Michael. And you, I go to shake Michael's hand. And I can tell he doesn't want to see me or touch me. His hand gets real limp and cold. That's what we do to Jesus in the Eucharist. Don't receive him with a cold and limp hand or heart, but rather with a raging fire, receive the Lord today. Amen? Now, we're going to start the chaplet that you and I will be filled with an angelic love for Jesus Christ. Is that okay? May Ireland be the nation of smiles. And may you have the smiles of the angels on each of your faces. Amen? 
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the chaplet of St. Michael the Archangel, by the way, approved by the church for many years now with an imprimatur. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Beloved, we're going to pray one Our Father and three Hail Marys nine times in a row for the nine choirs of angels. Through the intercession of St. Michael in the celestial choir of Seraphim, may the Lord make us worthy to burn with the fire of perfect love. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The second choir of angels are called the cherubim. Through the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of cherubim, may the Lord give us grace to leave the ways of wickedness and to run in the paths of Christian perfection. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth in Ireland as it is done in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The third choir of holy angels are called the thrones. Through the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of thrones, may the Lord infuse into our hearts a true and sincere spirit of humility. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, queen of angels, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Alleluia. Isn't this powerful? They're filling the auditorium now as we pray. We ask them to fill Ireland too as we pray. Amen. 
Every day, if you can, every day, try to pray this. The fourth choir of angels, the dominions, and they bring you and I chastity. Through the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of dominions, may the Lord give us grace to govern our senses and to subdue our unruly passions. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, Queen of Ireland, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The fifth choir of angels, the powers. Through the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of powers, may the Lord protect our souls from the snares and temptations of the evil one. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, queen of angels, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The sixth choir of holy angels, the virtues. Through the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of virtues, may the Lord preserve us and all of Ireland from evil, and suffer us not to fall into temptations. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, mother of all grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, queen of the angels, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Now we have three more choirs, beloved, and I'm going to lead the petition on these next three, the last three, and ask you, though, if you would lead the Our Father and the three Hail Marys. The seventh choir of angels were called the Principalities. Through the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of Principalities, 
May the Lord fill our souls and all of Ireland with a true spirit of joyful obedience. Amen. Friends, you would lead this now. Our Father. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Alleluia. Now, beloved, just one little tiny word for you, a tiny bit of exegesis. The next choir, the eighth choir, are called the Archangels. That's the name of the eighth choir. We're going in order from the mightiest and strongest, the seraphim and the cherubim, to the smallest, the archangels and the guardian angels. St. Michael and St. Gabriel and St. Raphael, they have the title archangel. It's a title of honor. We call that an honorific. But they are not part of the eighth choir. St. Thomas believes that Michael may be part of the cherubim. They are mighty angels. So the archangel refers to two things. It's the eighth choir of angels, the eighth in line, the smallest. But it's also a title of honor. So when we say St. Michael, the archangel, we don't mean to say he's in the eighth choir. It's, also, it's a title of honor for him. Amen? Hallelujah. So when we pray this now, keep that in mind. In this eighth choir, we pray for faith that the faith of the nation of Ireland would be revived. Amen? Amen? The eighth choir of angels, the archangels, through the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of archangels, may the Lord give us perseverance and faith and in all good works in order that we may gain the glory of paradise. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, queen of angels, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, mediatrix of all graces, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hallelujah. We have one choir left. They're simply called the angels, but they refer to the choir of guardian angels. It's actually the largest choir in heaven. The seraphim and the cherubim and the thrones are the three mightiest ones. Did you know that one seraphim, one seraphim, if he were to appear in the sky, he could knock the sun or the moon or the earth out of its orbit with one finger. That's how powerful the seraphim are. 
In one of my churches, they used to appear during Holy Mass. I didn't see them. My people saw them. They would stand behind the altar, either four or eight of them. They were approximately 40 feet tall. 40 feet. Way high, like about where that ceiling is. They had fire coming out of them. Seraph means fire. The angels are mighty. Even the guardian angels are strong. And so that picture that we see sometimes of Renaissance artists with little tiny angels wearing diapers, that's not true. I've seen thousands of angels. I've never seen any diapers yet. And even the guardian angels are about our size. They're about five to six feet tall. They are incredibly strong. And they radiate a light from heaven. And that's why every single time an angel appears in Europe, Catholic Bible, Every time, what's the first thing the angel says to Mother Mary or the others? Be not afraid. Why is that? You think it's because they're two feet tall with diapers? You wouldn't be afraid of that, would you? Don't be afraid! No, 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 no. You wouldn't be afraid anyway. <laughs> the reason they have to say that is because they're mighty in power, wondrous in deeds, they reflect the grandeur of God himself. Amen? They are glorious creatures. They are glorious. And they all have special powers. Your guardian angel has special graces that are meant just for you. If you're a college professor, your angel is very intelligent. You see? However, if you're a baker, your angel is a very good cook. Your angels have gifts just for you. So this is the ninth choir called the Angels. It's actually the Guardian Angels. It's the largest choir. And one saint said this, at the beginning of creation, when God made the heavens and the earth, he made all the Guardian Angels, and he made one for every human being who would ever live. Like billions of them. Billions. The book of Hebrews says, myriads upon myriads. Myriad is a Roman legion of 10,000 soldiers. Myriads upon myriads, that means billions of angels. There's one guardian angel for every human being who's ever been conceived in his mother's womb. That's why abortion should never be even contemplated, never even thought of. Every human being is unique and precious and unrepeatable. Amen? So we're going to pray now in honor of the guardian angels who have gifts for you. And your angel was made by the Holy Trinity for you. He had you in mind when he made your angel. Amen? No talking right now. I'm sorry. Thank you. The ninth choir of angels, the guardian angels, through the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of angels, May the Lord give us grace to be protected by them in this mortal life and conducted hereafter to eternal glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, friends, we pray three Hail Marys, but I'm going to ask you, please, that you would lead the Hail Mary, and Deacon and I are going to answer you. Hail Mary. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Now, beloved, we said the nine choirs of angels. Now we're going to pray for our fathers in honor of the four angels mentioned by name in sacred scripture. St. Michael, St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, and the guardian angel. So first now in honor, oh, he's here, in honor of holy St. Michael. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. In honor of St. Gabriel, Gabri means strength and El means God. Gabriel means the strength of Almighty God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In honor of St. Raphael, Rapha in Aramaic means medicine. El always means God. Raphael means the medicine or the healing of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And the fourth great angel mentioned in the Bible is our own personal guardian angel. And they're whispering to me, they want you to receive the grace of their joy. Beginning today, we declare no more grouchy faces in the Church of Ireland. Beginning today, we're going to be smiling like the angels. And we ask now each of our own guardian angels to give us their gift of holy joy. Amen? Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now I'll pray the closing prayer for all of us. The first one is to St. Michael himself, and the second one is to the Most Holy Trinity. O glorious St. Michael, Prince of the Church of Jesus Christ, guardian of souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, servant in the house of the Divine King, and our admirable conductor, Thou who dost shine with excellence in superhuman virtue, vouchsafe to deliver us from all evil, who turn to thee with confidence, and enable us by thy gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Amen. Please pray for us, O glorious Saint Michael, Prince of the Church of Jesus Christ, that we may be made worthy of the promises. Let me do that one more time because you know the answer. Please pray for us, O glorious St. Michael, Prince of the Church of Jesus Christ. And now the closing prayer to God. O almighty and eternal God, who by a prodigy of goodness and a merciful desire for the salvation of all men has appointed the most glorious archangel, St. Michael, Prince of thy church, make us worthy, we beseech thee, to be delivered from all of our enemies, that none of them may harass us at the hour of death, but that we may be conducted by him into the august presence of thy divine majesty. This we beg you through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And now we pray the traditional prayer that everybody knows to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the powers of God, 
trust Satan down into hell and with him all his evil spirits who wander the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to give you one simple word, and then we're going to pray the tantum. You can stay there, Deacon. Beloved, at the end of the chaplet, I saw something that I need to share with you at the urging of the Holy Spirit. I saw drug dealers throughout Ireland, and the Lord says to encourage his people, that's you, that we can drive out every drug dealer from Ireland by this chaplet. Amen. And perhaps we can ask the Lord to drive out every bar owner who owns a bar that's, that's like filthy, a bar where they encourage over-drinking. If you have a bar, there's nothing wrong with having a glass of red wine, but not 17 glasses of red wine, just one. We need bartenders who say, sorry, uh, you've had one or two, that's enough, now go pray your rosary. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, most Catholics don't know this, but in the Holy Bible, there's a demon, uh, several demons mentioned by name. One of them is called pharmacia. That's where the word pharmaceutical comes from. The demon of drug overdosing and illegal drugs is found in the Bible thousands of years ago. He's now manifesting himself right now. Demon pharmacia. He's a true and awful demon. One of Lucifer's lieutenants. One of the highest demons in the lowest part of hell. The angels can cover him and cast him off the island of Ireland. They can cast him right off. So the Lord says to encourage you. Ask Matthew Talbot to pray with you, the St. Michael the Archangel chaplet, to drive everything evil off the island, especially illegal drugs and alcoholism. But also anything else, like homosexuality. How, how about adultery, pornography? Those are all demonic things. If you pray this chaplet every day, let's fill and surround Ireland with all the angels of heaven. Amen? Amen. And finally, we pray that you and I would begin to smile like the angels beginning today. Amen? Amen. So we'll have one minute of silence, and would you ask the Lord to give you a joyful heart? If you don't want it, Ireland still needs it. So pray now for a joyful heart, an angelic heart, for one minute to the King of joy, the King of joy, the King of joy. We proclaim today Jesus Christ, the King of joy of Ireland. Amen? Amen. Let not my people be sad, he says. Let them not be sad. Today we proclaim you, Messiah, King of joy of Ireland. Amen. And now ask the Lord to fill you with his joy. And to whom ergo sacramentum venere mur cernui et antiquum documentum novo cedat ritui Preste fides supplementum sensum defectui genitori genitoque 
Lost you be lapsio Salu sonur virtus quo que sit et bene dixio procedenti abutro que Comparsit laudatio. Amen. Panum de cello prestis dies. Amen. Oremus Deus qui nobis of sacramento mirabili. Passionis tuae memoriam reliquisti, tribu quasima sita nos corporis, et sanguinis tui sacra mysteria venerare, ut redemptionis tuae fructum, in nobis jugiter sensiamus, qui vivas et reinas in secula seculorum. Friends, would you praise God after me, line by line? We are the most blessed people in the universe. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be, Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment and all the tabernacles of the world now and until the end of time. Amen. Uh, 
Adoremus in eternum sanctissimum sacramentum. Laudate Dominum omnes gentes, laudate eum omnes populi, coniam confirmate es super nos misericordia eus, et veritas Domini manet in eternum. Gloria, Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula, seculorum. Amen. Adoremus in eternum sanctissimum sacramentum. Let us pray. Lord our God, in this great sacrament, we come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the Virgin Mary and crucified for our salvation. May we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy, drink from it the water of everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. I'm going to say one Hail Mary for the salvation of everyone in Ireland and then give you the blessing for all of Ireland to be saved. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. 